Okay, so if I were composing something, let's start with a really simple melody and chord, chord sequence. Alright, so that's really simple. You can hear it's all just um, chords from the, the diatonic major, um, no inversions, no additions, and it sounds kind of boring. So over here, I've added, I've used some borrowed chords. So that would be like, this is in the key of C major. Um, I would be borrowing things like, say, the um, D major from uh, chord because like in C major, you would expect the supertonic triad to be a minor chord, but I'm borrowing this from D major, so um, it sounds like this. You can already tell, texturally speaking, it sounds a lot better already. So if you compare the last four bars of the original... ...and with the borrowed chords... ...so that, um... E major and D major chord kind of gives it a bit of a texture and like it's kind of unexpected and it can be like creates this positive mood. Um, right, and then I go on and add some additions like seventh chords and second chords, um, which once again adds another layer of harmonic interest. I think the difference is clearest on the fifth bar, where initially the chord sounded like this. But when I um, added, made it a seventh chord, you get... So it kind of feels a little bit more ambiguous tonally between major and minor. And then um, I add these um, passing chords. I'm not actually sure what the technical term for them is, but yeah, so like sometimes you get these weird jumps between chords like um, here. Like that um, that chord, um, the two chord and the four chord. Um, they don't link up so nicely, so in this version, I added those um, passing or leading notes and chords to tie them together, so you get this. Now that very last bar there, um, I added um, what you call a suspension. So it goes from um, a tonic triad to a dominant triad with just the change of one note there, the C to a B. So that's how I make my compositions more interesting.